Hey there everyone, how are you guys doing? I am back. My annoying voice is also back. And we have a big announcement. I found out a name. I'm gonna put it there because I don't really know how to say it and I'll let her say it. I told you in the last episode it was gonna be kind of an offensive name. Luca called me cybernetic intelligence and relative annoyance, but you can call me Sierra. Okay. Now that we know what is what, <coughs> we can carry on. I hate you, dude. So here there is Thomas, right? Let's go for it. I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. <clears throat> the hotline should be past the mailroom. That looked easy, too easy. They didn't even touch you once. Yeah, I know it was kind of easy. But only because I already did this not so long ago, so I remember was the blind spot. Field research on his entity, his corrupted agent, confidential, summary. The his manifest in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the bureau. The his agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These his have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the his corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons, preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, his agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form? Research is ongoing. Refer to file redacted for full report. Hey Malcolm. Yes, tea time is at 7. I'll see you at the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Tennyson report? Apparently there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would ya? See you Sunday. Jim. Alright. So, technically I already checked everything here, haven't I? Maybe not. Let's have a look around. Okay. There's some, some stuff up there as well, but I need to be able to fly to go get it. Seems like there is anything else really. <laughs> I mean, that's quite a bit to lead behind that door, to be honest. Oh. I don't like it that bugging through the floor. Okay, one. Butte, A-W-E, 17. 
Event Summary A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Event Response Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity, located at Redacted, Redacted, which had been connected to a total of redacted disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house redacted days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte Homes closet disappeared during this incident. Roberto Tomasi, head of comms. Well done everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. Alberto Tomasi. The hiss got him. Yeah, it did. All right, take this down. <clears throat> the situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an alternate item to show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Yeah, Thomas did not really sound like I'm a good person. He's still here somewhere, isn't he? The hotline can't be far now. Oh, I kind of saw the fake door here. Let me see if he pops off again. Yeah, you can actually see it from here. Butte, AWE, 17, details. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel, named the Ocean View Motel and Casino, and discovered a room key by performing a ritual, see file MOT-01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean U Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, redacted light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the redacted and redacted sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is redacted, but initial hypotheses center on the Butte AWE as a redacted redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 24.3 for more details. I took that by mistake. Another one. Hotline security log. All visitors must check in. August 19, 2019, 2.45 p.m. Director Trench. August 26, 2019, 12.13 p.m. Director Trench. August 31, 2019, 11.09 p.m. Bill Everett, Custodian. September 2, 2019, 2.45 p.m. Director Trench. September 9, 2019, 2.45 p.m. Director Trench. September 14, 2019, 10.57 p.m. Bill Everett, Custodian. September 16, 2019, 2.45 p.m. Director Trench. September 23, 2019, 2.45 p.m. Director Trench. September 28, 2019, 9.13 a.m. Director Trench. September 28, 2019, 10.59 p.m. Bill Everett, Custodian, October 1, 2019, 3.34 a.m. Director Trench. October 12, 2019, 11.03 p.m. Bill Everett, Custodian, October 26, 2019, 11.11 11 p.m. Carol Bishop, Custodian.
Here we go. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Green Logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with the black pyramid. Okay, let's have a look. Been here before? No. I mean, no. I did. Is that a nice time? Oh, yeah. Roadside and so does Alan Wake. Country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them. Like yeah, that something is. recognized from a dream. Whoa, that's freaky. What the hell is wrong with her eyes? Must be that purple light messing with her blue eyes. Anyway, I feel as this is adult to the East world. There's a whiteboard that supports that theory somewhere. I found files about this. It's the same, the same symbol on the door that you're gonna see in a moment. Well, relatively a moment. If you didn't understand what I did, pyramid on it. I was saying, if you didn't understand what I did, it's simply the rule of phrase. In this particular instance, things are added by done free by free. So I click three times this, I open the light door, I got the keys. It'll get a little bit more complicated later on. Patterns require at least three elements. This is true in a lot of fields, from religion to physics. You should do some lore investigation about this. back sorry I had um, a moment oh that was close so what is this gonna be about okay An obstacle course, basically. <laughs> there. Compu compulsive calls. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director.
I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Yep. Let's go then. People react strongly when I tell them about you. There you go. You see the door? To tell Emily, she might be able to help. Remember the symbol on the door. You see, it is actually a door. Hotline OOP3 UE. Containment procedure. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Description slash paratility. Object is a 1960s era red Bakelite telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs redacted. The object allows the director to communicate with the redacted. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.6 for more information. The object is currently bound to Director Trench. Background. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but its origin remains unknown. To all executive staff. I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the US Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us, as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Regards. Zachariah Trench, Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. All right. Now, I do have a curiosity, which is... Can I reach the main entrance again? I doubt it. Because... I don't know. I just doubt it. Because you see... I think the way to get there was supposed to be here. Yeah. I'm gonna check maybe... Can find something out about it. Also remember there were more files here, so do they spawn afterwards? Yeah yeah they do spawn afterwards. Good to know. Examination of paranatural topics, collective unconscious, summary. Collective unconscious is defined as a form of the unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage, see Jung Report, pages 12 to 34. Through this collective unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. This internal belief in the power of images, shared by a massive population, is redacted in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of redacted redacted exuded is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of redacted. Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained, collective belief. Refer to file 5-41-7532 for full report. I'm gonna have to get her to the lead a little bit faster. Faster than this is gonna sound ridiculous, but, please, give it a try. Well, not as fast as, you know, to make it sound ridiculous. 
It's just that it takes a, like a minute per file to read. And that adds up to the grand total of what I can afford lengthwise. I know that, but you want people to understand what I say, and that's not gonna be easy if I go any faster. Oh, I can get in here now. Examination of paranatural topics, objects of power and their paratility. Summary. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals periutilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the periutilitarian. Using the redacted object of power as an example, some periutilitarians can achieve a throw distance of redacted while others are only capable of as little as redacted, see Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more information. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some redacted exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmoor records, considering he is one of the most accomplished periutilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. Refer to file 8-54-1982 for full report. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe something new around here too. Just gonna have a quick look. Ah, oh, doesn't seem like. Okay, never mind. Let's go talk Jesse, to Emily. Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss. I, sorry, you made it. I'm glad. Emily. Shut up. Analysis of his threat. Part 1, Confidential, Summary Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the Hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other Hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the Hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a Hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the Hiss. More work to be done. Refer to file redacted for full report. Okay. Let's talk. Of course. Let's see what they say. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there, it connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. 
She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. We're back. Okay, let's talk to Emily again. Hi, Jesse. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. We already talked about this. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to make you look stupid, but yes. Yes, we have. Thanks, Emily. So why do I I'm need sure to talk to her about? Soon. Just let me know. Oh, she's lost it now. Okay. I guess it's just the game being a little slow. Do you slow. hear that? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Objects up to twenty feet. Bullshit. We never recorded any distance over five. Obviously, you never read the. P okay, let's start. Oh, hi, buddy. We didn't mean to give you, um, you know, such a close look. Time to work. Meet me in the main denounce. Okay, Yati. Well, like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. So, yeah, I was going to say, well, um, now things start to get tougher. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Or is being Kodos? Is there anything else up here? Because feels like there might be it's a level 2 door so we can open it it's already led so you know what it means the directorial override is right there in the control room how do we get there
we done yet? Okay. Good. Of course, there's gonna be more fighting. You're not really moving much. You're waiting behind cover more than anything. Point is, I cannot really. face them head on because they are much more powerful than me. Fortunately I seem to have a good enough aim. As of late at the very least I, I gotta admit that the aim in this game is not exactly perfect. it's all locked because I don't have the um, the right skills yet what's down that way oh yeah don't worry we are going to check we'll do that later we'll do this first okay This makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Think about using it first, then we'll think about the rest, okay? the weapon out. Keep up with me now. I think that I wanted to check if if there is anything past this, but there's no way to know unfortunately.
Ah, that technically was an either location. Okay. Drawing the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. What's a pyramid? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. I miss my home. Sorry, I was checking one thing and I forgot about the video stopping. Well, in my life I forgot about a lot of things, so... It's just one amongst many. That's the correct way by which I care first. Ready? Let's go then. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satan. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Yeah, 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 you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm going to say perkele suora that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. 
the works on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all, you'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Okay, <clears throat> so we got stuff to do, of course. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Oh. Wait, wait a second, I, I need to unlock all of these first because it's gonna make my life so much easier. Oh, he stopped talking to me. Well, I think I have a way to still listen to it. Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time. Keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. And that was pretty much what it would have done, but in a more broken up way. All we need to do, to do now is just get to the main hub of this area where the generator is I think I got, we gotta do this later I need to go otherwise this episode is gonna be too long wow third episode and you're cutting my hours down already yeah no worries you have your time in the next one Hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security. I'm the one. Shut up. Okay, so let's spend a little bit of this. And I'm stopping to play now. I doubt there is another, another continuation to this, so since I'm deciding it in this very moment, thank you very much for watching and thank you for uh, subscribing once again. Remember there is a comment section down below the video or anywhere on this page where you're watching the video from, depending on the device. Use it, let me know what you think. Um, don't talk badly about the voice. No, I'm still not saying your name because I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> God, you're dumb. I know, that's the little thing. It's not hard. Sierra, repeat with me. Sierra. And yeah, I'll see you Stop the next ignoring one. me. See, ah, ra, repeat. Well, we'll see you the next one. God, this is irritating. See, ah, ra, come on, man, at least try. <laughs>